So welcome back to Weekly Affirmations. We had to unfortunately erase that possible future. So we had to dial it back a few seconds. Um, you did remember it, but now you don't anymore. So we're just going to uh, start from a little earlier. Uh, what card are we starting from? We are starting from the card where I saw a dark tunnel pushing us into oblivion. And then we have to fight. So we get to fight again? Yeah, we're gonna fight again, only this time I'm, well. Uh, thank you, Joe. This time I'm not gonna do that thing. Sorry, it's too graphic. Okay, let me get this back. So we're just gonna start from the top of the fight. Okay. Sound good? Okay. Yeah. That was good stuff, it's too bad. It was. Mm -hmm. So no more dark tunnels. Well, there will be dark tunnels, but we won't be infinitely stuck in one. Well, we will be, but you won't, right? I'm so mad at you. Are you even trying to change things anymore? Or have you just like resigned to your fate? Because that's it's all you not, need to do. It's not resignation when it's what's always happened. Oh I know God. that it is what will always happen. Have you not listened to anything that I've said? Have the entire you not time listened to anything together? I've ever said? I know that you get choices. That's nice. That must be wonderful. Which means there are choices, Sam. Your experience has choices. Why can't you hear me that mine does not? Mine has one way you know what? that Maybe it has if always you gone. Freaking tried, you would find out that you can change it. You're not even willing to do that. It's like you don't care. How dare you tell me that I don't care and that I don't want to change how this ends? Well, I here comes the pity love party. you. Three, go ahead. Two, one. I love you. I've always loved you. I will always love you. You're the one who leaves me. I can see why. You know what? This is your fault. This is your fault. You are pushing us into this this dark abyss. You're you're taking away my choices because you just refuse to admit that there are any. You never had choices to begin with. What are you talking about? Of course there are choices. You're gonna sneak out. You're gonna leave me a note and you're gonna sneak out. Only if you really want me to. Which Why apparently you do. Why would that is I what want you're you to break my to. heart? Why would I want you to break my heart? I don't know, you tell me. Maybe you're really screwed up in the head or something. Yeah, Years of the psychic am. stuff has just screwed you over. I've never had any choices. How could I not be screwed up in the head? Oh my God. You have choices. You refuse to acknowledge them. You would rather be a victim than be on try. A yellow pad of note paper. Oh my god. Are you making yourself feel better right now? No. Then fucking stop. All right? I am over it. I am disgusted with you and the fact that you can't even try. You can't even you're not willing to try. <laughs> That's the last thing you say to me. Well, then I guess it's true, isn't it? Thanks for that validation, Sam. Makes me feel so much better. If you could ever listen to me, or like, try to, you never put yourself into my experience. You're always just so sure that your experience is the only way that the world works and you never think about it from my point of view. It's like you're the least empathetic person possible and you have no compassion whatsoever. My parents died. Don't you think I would have tried to stop that? I did try and it never worked. And you leave me. Don't you think I'm trying to stop that too? But all I say is this, I always say this. Does that make you feel better? Does that make you feel right? It never does. You know, dragging your dead parents into this is really fucking low. Is that just what you go to every time when you want to trump someone? My parents died, boo hoo. Uh, my feelings are the most important. Have you tried a mirror lately? You haven't even tried for two seconds to imagine that your reality is not the only one. Oh, don't huff at me. How is this happening? This is shock and hurt. You like. You can't ever accept How can my you be feelings? shocked, Miss Princess Sam, if you already know I'm gonna say it? You know what? I saw coming into this that this could happen, but I also saw that there was a freaking way for it not to happen. And you know what changed that is you. You changed it. Ah, yeah, mm, go ahead. You do that. Real freaking mature. 
You chose this. I want you to know that you, you chose this. I didn't choose this. You have forced this hand. So I hope that you are happy and that you are proud of yourself because you're the one that is responsible here. Why don't your skills or your powers ever include how it makes me feel? How what makes you feel? All of this. You get to know what you feel, but how come, how come we don't get to know what each other feel? Because that's not how it works? Well, it's stupid. Everything about this is stupid. You know what? Everything about this is stupid. Why are we even doing this? What's the point? Well, we're gonna stop in like 10 seconds, so... Fine, you wanna finish dinner? We can't. Why not? Because we don't! You know what? Fucking fine. We don't. And Dylan gets up and walks out of the apartment. That's the end of the scene. Uh, I'm so mad at you! I'm so mad at you! <laughs> Both being jerks. Okay, you flip. Okay. I wish it didn't have to go that way. I wish it didn't have to go that way. I wish it didn't have to go that way. Take turns monologuing, saying the things you wish you had said to Dylan during the fight. Uh, Flip and Wink both run out of things to say. How okay. do I hit 31 and you're at 59? Because we're about to skip down. Okay. okay. So we say increasingly awful things about each other because neither of us can help but during, during that during fight. The fight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That happened. Mm -hmm. We did that naturally. It didn't have to go that way. It did, did not have to go that way. <laughs> it just, it didn't have to go that way. Okay, so let's just do one and then one and then one. Okay. I wish that instead of fighting about the future, we'd just remembered Greece. I wish we could have just finished that lamb. I wish that we just held each other and said that we loved each other and tried to understand. I wish I hadn't have been a dick about her parents. I wish she hadn't have been a dick about my parents. I wish I had said something just entirely different. I wish I had said that I loved her. I wish this wasn't how it had to end. I wish you just would have listened to me so we could have had a better ending. I wish I could see his choices. That'd be kind of magical. I wish he could believe in me. I wish he could believe in me. I wish, I wish there was some way out. I wish it didn't have to end like this. Scene seven. One month, zero days left. Things have been better since the fight. Slowly building up today, to today, which you know will be the single best day of your life. You'll live off the glow of today for the next week, and neither of you will be able to do anything wrong. In all the timelines you've seen, you've known that today will be special. Your best day with Sam. Dylan has planned the perfect day you told them about four months ago in their apartment. <laughs> It couldn't be a surprise, of course, but for once, you don't have to act surprised either. Take turns describing your day together. Okay, so. Not Greece. Not Greece. But. Surprises. 
Teddy bears. Cyprus? It's not quite Greece, because we've already been to Greece. But Cyprus is close enough. It is. Um, so we've already landed. And this is also, we've had time to adjust to jet yes. lag. Yes. So we're magic. Um, I pull out a teddy bear with three bow ties. <laughs> a, a purple teddy bear with three bow ties that I had to order on the internet specially because no one makes purple teddy bears with three bow ties. One is in the middle and then there's one on each ear. Yes. So like, it, it's wearing like a cutesy dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks adorable. It's very, very cute. Um, we wake up to champagne at breakfast mm -hmm. and the, the curtains are wafting in. And I have pre-programmed pre pre -programmed our hyper smart room in this very fancy hotel to kick on an album of your favorite songs right as we sit down to breakfast. I have a present, but I haven't told Dylan which of the three it is. But I still know which president it is. I'm just going to pretend that I don't. It's a green teddy bear that matches the purple teddy bear. <laughs> it's a green teddy bear that matches the purple teddy bear. How cool is that? <laughs> we actually ordered it off of the same site. But I didn't know that it was the same site. I mean, I mean well, we knew, we knew later because site. we we said, oh my gosh, it's the same site. But, but found, I had to figure out yeah. which site it was. We found it independently <sighs> yeah. of each other, which is important. It's agency. Yeah. Agency is important. Agency is important. Mm -hmm. So I also bought you a very naughty bathing suit. <laughs> Which you look fantastic in. Thank you. I spend the entire time grinning and uh, the dimple is always there. Which just is the best thing ever. Seeing her smile just lights me up from the inside like a Christmas tree. He's just lit up from the inside the entire time. And he's glowing. And it's wonderful. So it's like the reverse of a negative echo chamber. It's like a positive echo chamber and it just builds and it builds and it builds and it's well, it's the best date ever. It's the best day ever. Oh yeah, and there's one more thing. At dusk. Which you know, but there's fireworks. And a band. <laughs> which was her idea. Not it mine. Was. I wouldn't have gone for a band. But there's a band too. It was magical. You know, mostly I just like looking into her eyes and seeing her. That's the best part. I am trying so hard to hold on to all of this and make it go slower so that we can just stay here and we can just live in this moment. I guess that's what everybody wants, really. People like us and people not like us. I think it's hard for everybody, but well, it's especially hard for us. <laughs> and maybe that means that we work harder for it, but we also value it more. Yeah. We danced. She has two left feet, but it is Terrible adorable. <laughs> it is adorable. Mostly I just kind of picked her up and set her down in different places. It's really fun being picked up. <laughs> I like feeling all like protective and stuff and like, oh, no, no. like it's swirled around. I had to swirl her around. It was really cool. I heard she wore one of those poofy skirts and it did the little thing like in, what was that Disney movie? Beauty and the Beast where it like fells out. That was pretty cool. I wouldn't tell her that. I mean, she knows that I know, but guys, I don't know what you're that. thinking. Just that you told me. So I did know that. I did tell you. <laughs> no reason not to be candid. It's true. Well, at least that day. Hey, hey, I love you. I love you too. Uh, <laughs> you did not screw me that time. I love you too, Sam. You want to do something for Dylan. You want to try breaking out of the script. Pick one day detail about the day you foresaw and try to change it. Will you be successful? Will I? Oh, will you? 
Dylan falls, stumbles, just a little stumble as we try, as we go back to the hotel. And so I say, let's go left. Let's take the other route. Let's, let's go around the front of the hotel instead of straight into our room. And I say, no, 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 this path is much prettier. You'll like it a lot more. There's night blooming jasmine here. Come on, come on. And can I'll we go just, to the left? Come on, you can big we go silly. To the, what, what happens if we go to the left? Nothing exciting. Come on. Can we go to the left? No, come on, don't be silly. I'm trying. Can we go to the left? Come on, the right has really, really pretty flowers. You'll like them. Come on, I know. I know. Come on. Can we go to the right? We always go to the right. It does have really pretty flowers. <laughs> and it smells really, really beautiful. And I know that I'm gonna trip. The key is, I don't really care, because cursing those flowers is, well, it weighs more against that experience, so screw it. We did it anyway. I don't really understand why Dylan didn't understand. I tried, I tried. It's beautiful, but bittersweet. I'm gonna ask you a question. Mm. Can't we just try? Can't we just refuse to break up and see what happens? I mean, does this really have to end? I hope not. See? Hope. That's a thing people have, right? You're trying to uh, fool me. No, I really hope not. But you don't. You don't believe not. Well, I acknowledge that at least you're trying to put a good face on it. I just wish, well, I haven't actually said it out loud before. I wish you would believe in me, Sam. I wish I would too. Scene eight. One day. This is it. Your final day together begins exactly as you predicted it. Start describing the scene. In public? In private? What is the weather like? It is a gorgeous day outside. Um, there will be a thunderstorm later, but it hasn't started yet. It's to the east. Um, I wake up and make coffee and Dylan comes down and he looks sad and I say you know what I'm feeling kind of sore I'm gonna go I'm gonna go take a bath okay that's fine so I go and I run the bath What is your emotional state? What is Sam's? Like always, Sam is refusing to talk about what's important. <laughs> you avoid the topic for a few minutes, but flip after you've started fighting. I'm just gonna go. Where okay. are you gonna go, Sam? I'm gonna get in the bathtub, because that's what you're, I do. You're gonna try to hide in the bathtub like a five-year-old? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a bad thing? It's kind of a cowardly thing. Well, if the water's running, then you can't hear me crying. 
Yes, at least there is that. Gee, I was so worried. I'm glad you're taking care of my feelings in such a considerate way. Right? I'm being super sweet and caring. And I'm thinking about you, which you always say that I don't do. I'm trying to make some sort of an effort, so I'm just gonna get out of the room. Which I you have room? like a note. Can you say that again? I'm gonna get out of the room. What? Okay. In this scene, Dylan will take your hand to declare something about the futures they see. You may not use your own powers as you have in previous scenes. Oh, I've never taken your hand. Mm -hmm. um, Dylan's predictions can contradict, contradict anything you've previously established. Whatever it is that Dylan points out, you don't remember it that way. Of course you predicted it right. You've always predicted it right. Say it one more time. I'm going to go into the other room and stay out of your way. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Watch. I'm not in there. You're not in there. Why aren't I in there? Because you're not in there. But I've always, I've always got, hold, hold on tighter. <laughs> So what were you gonna go do? I was gonna take a bath. And you were gonna you're you're gonna write a note and break up with me and leave. S super cowardly way of doing things, by the way. I've never okay, said okay, this! Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Think about it again, but slowly. What are you going to go do next? What are you doing next? Right now. I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna hug you. Right. Remember, you don't actually know the, the different features, okay? I am going to. I have no idea what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Which one of the details that Sam described about your breakup isn't quite right? What happens in this moment that surprises you? How do you tell Sam about it? You were never gonna go into the bathroom. You were gonna stomp upstairs and you were gonna take scissors and you were gonna cut off the head of the teddy bear. You're wrong, Sam. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna go cut off the head of the teddy bear. But no, listen to me. I've always <laughs> cut off the head of the teddy no, bear. No, you're going to sit here and you're going to listen to me. I'm gonna sit here and listen to me. Do my memories change? Sarah, Your memories do my change. memories change every time Dylan says something? You gotta give her about 12 seconds to I reply. Um, it says, your memories change. What Dylan says, what Dylan sees, it's what you've seen for your entire life, even if Dylan says otherwise. So it's like a retcon. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Okay. So I'm gonna like let go over him to explicate. I'm like, you were gonna do that, but then, but then you saw something else. You saw you saw the bathtub, and I saw the bear, which means it was different. Which means their choices. There no, are. I was always I was totally cut right. Off the head of the bear. I was always gonna cut off the head I mean, of the where, bear. You were gonna go to the. What are you talking about? You were just getting up to go to the bathroom to go lay in the tub and sob. I've never done that. At this moment, I've never done that. Yes, you have. You almost just nearly physically went and did it. You don't remember? Okay. 
So I'm gonna say we've used that twice already. We have. <laughs> so I'm gonna let the audience read the card. Okay, so... Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. You gotta bear with me here a second, okay? Okay. Because there's some freaky shit going on. But I fucking... I knew it! I knew it! You were wrong. You were totally wrong. It is not have to go this way. I finally see the way out. You've been clouding my mind for months with this one path, but then, hang on, hang on. Then you were like, I'm gonna go to the bathtub and cry. And, but it was only like one thing and it wasn't supposed to be the thing that happened. You're gonna go up to, to the upstairs and you're gonna cut off the head of the teddy bear and you're gonna throw it in my face. But then that's not gonna happen either. It's not gonna happen either. You know why? Because we are not breaking up today. We are not. We're not. Sam, hello, we're not. Think about it. What do you see? You were wrong. No, this is how it's always been. What are you talking about? We always stay together. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, we'll wait. Yeah. What? What do you mean we'll always stay together? Quick time out. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's all anything that you tell me while you're touching me or just while you're holding hands? We'll say touching. Okay. okay. Sorry, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. We always stay together. And... I think we should go to the epilogue. Or is there something else you want to have happen? Well, I thought we could talk a little bit more about this funky memory issue of yours. Um, I've, I'm always right, and this is exactly how it's always been. We always stay together. You thought we were breaking up today? Why would we break up today? That's a good question. That is a good question. How I silly of you. me. I love you too. It's very silly of you. I'm so silly. You thought I was going to cut off the head of the teddy bear? I love that teddy bear. I love both of them. They're holding hands right now on the dresser. Why would I cut the head off? Dylan. Come here. I love you. And Work together to describe a short a epilogue. Short epilogue. You flip when you're ready to both end the game. There. So, Dylan realizes that he doesn't necessarily have a power over Sam, just that he can't really see multiple paths. And today we took one, and Sam doesn't remember anything about how it was gonna end. She was so certain. And then it turns out that it's not true, and she doesn't have to remember any of that stuff. I'm so glad she doesn't have to remember any of that stuff. All of the fighting, all of the pain, it's gone from her. <laughs> it's amazing. We live in a small house and there are two puppies and one of them has a yellow ribbon and we go in a parade on Easter just weird because neither of us are religious, but there's a parade! Who doesn't love parades? We love parades. We definitely love parades. And I know that I can take care of her for, well, at least a while longer. That's, that's what I see. And if it comes down to it again, you know what? We'll make the right choices because we can. We're gonna make the exact same choices we've always made. That's right, Sam. They're good choices. <laughs> they are good choices. Yay! Thank you for playing. 100, how many? 183. 183. <laughs> days? Or 183 20? days. 183 days. <laughs> you and your partner should say, take some time now to discuss the experience you, you just had. Ask yourself, as yourself, ask your partner the answer. How did you feel? Did anything bother you about the experience? Did anything bring you joy? 
Would you like to make plans to check in with each other to dis later to discuss this more? Okay, sounds good. I mine says something slightly different, so I'll hang on to it. So okay. let's, let's start with That was really intense! That was so much fun! <laughs> oh my god! It was really fun though. We escaped the darkest timeline. I'm really impressed that we escaped the yeah. darkest timeline. I <laughs> totally thought I don't I guess I wasn't thinking about the end and like what possible ways to end the game. Mm -hmm. I was just like, it's going to end and everything has been dark and will always be dark. So basically, I was just really channeling Sam. Yeah. I mean, I've, Sam. I've never played this game before, so I don't know actually what was on the last card. Yeah. Um, and so I was thinking it's going to be one of those, you know, smallest violin as they, right? they go into the night weeping. Right? Um, so much weeping. <laughs> um, but it... Sturman <laughs> Drang. But it, it gave me the opportunity to change it. I could have stayed with that. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. No, we're gonna have a good ending today. Um, and I'm that was also really great. so proud of myself for remembering the first date future mm -hmm. moment of the dog with the yellow ribbon. Yeah, that was a good time. Thank you. I was I really, really proud it. of myself, patting myself on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think the most uncomfortable part of that whole experience for me was the questions at the beginning yeah. about my love life. Although, although, like, definitely having those questions get you, like, in mm -hmm. the, the zone and in the space for this. Because mm -hmm. I think I would have been, like, giggling a lot more if I hadn't had to be, like, confessional first. Yeah. And then there was the whole, like, actual time lapse with the dark tunnel to one that just kept yeah. moving over and over again. <laughs> that was the technical difficulties. Really, we just had a future that was not for children's eyes. Dark tunnel for one. <laughs> Dark tunnel for one for life. Um, oh yes, thank you, silly Sony. You would remember that orgasms for days. <laughs> um, that was pretty. Like anticipate everything, yeah. you guys. Just live in anticipation. So it was really interesting to me how quickly we were able to cycle through, really up, yeah, and then really down. Yeah. Um, there are moments where I'm like, am I gonna cry now? I'm not gonna make it happen or not happen, but it could. I don't know. Um, just gonna drink my water. <laughs> and I was like, if it happens, it happens, but holy crap. Um, and there are a lot of sweet moments too. And uh, I was really surprised that the game could lead us through that much yeah. in a short yeah. amount of time. I'm impressed we managed to play it so quickly. <laughs> I am too. I was really worried actually we were gonna run out of time. Um, Joe, if you would like, you can turn the uh, chat sounds back on and please let me know if there's any affirmations to do. Um, while we were muted. Um, if you want to slip a paper in here somewhere, that'd be good so I can see their names. Um, but in case you're just joining us, we just wrapped up 183 days. It was awesome. It was so great. It was so much fun <laughs> and also hard. It was really hard. It was hard. both. It was great. <laughs> um, so this is a game by Sarah Williamson and James Stewart. It's available online. I'm sure our mods can leak the information. Um, we didn't have to use the X card, which was good. Yeah, um, I, I thought mean, about it a few times. Really? Was, when? Well, I, I don't remember. There was definitely times when I started like just grabbing the next card being like, and I'm done with this scene now because it was just hard. Yeah. It's emotionally hard, but I, but it wasn't something where I wanted to be like, no, like just tap out. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to escape. I wanted to escape. Yeah. I wanted mm -hmm. it to move on to something else because like sitting there with like the dark, mm -hmm. that's, whew. yeah. That's some hard... I'm feeling a little drained. Hard shit, right? Feeling a little drained. Right? But, okay, so let's talk about fun. Mm -hmm. Was it fun? It really was. I would absolutely play it again. Um, especially... Would... You know, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Um, I just think it'd be really interesting to play it with different people. Mm -hmm. um, and, and our Sam and Dylan are going to be so different from anybody else's Sam and Dylan. And even if we played Sam and Dylan again, mm -hmm. um, I It'd think, be it, it, yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. we would just, you know, be in slightly different spots. That being said, like, I feel like their fights, mm -hmm. uh, it, having only played it once, I feel like their fights are always going to be the same, though, mm. because it's like, you don't understand me, you don't understand me, you should try to understand me, you didn't understand me. Um, Which is all of humanity. Oh yeah, right? <laughs> it's a everyone. pretty classic fight. Whether you're psychic or not. <laughs> oh, Sam toward the end is reminiscent of living someone with dementia. Which That's... would be 
really challenging. I was actually really proud of Dylan for just basically taking one for the team and being like, yeah. yes, dear. Yes, it has always been this way and I'm so glad you're happy. I'm gonna just pretend that this could have ended uh, any other way than this and it's yeah. fine. And he's not gonna tell Sam. Like, he's not gonna tell her. But that's so interesting too, cause, cause just thinking about like the different powers, mm -hmm. um, that like Sam announcing that it has gone one way, like Dylan's definitely- Hi, we're I'm the power go! <laughs> Oh, thank you, Thanis Fat, for joining us. We hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did, because that, for me, was actually a lot of fun. Hyper Rabbit Power Go! I totally couldn't make it through the stream and had to tap the X card. From what I did see, you both were really good at this game and were really into it. Hashtag Game Feels, hashtag Evo. Feels. Feels. So much feels. So that was from Lugaren. Um, thank you so much for watching with us. Um, it's totally fine that you had to skip out in the middle, but I don't think there's any judgment here. You do what you got to do to take care of yourself and to feel for good. For sure. Um, Especially on this one. This is a this is a heavy. Yeah. So um, Thane is fat. I'm gonna do your affirmation first, and then I'll get to Lugaren. So Thane is fat. I hope you're ready to feel affirmed because this one is excellent. Thane is fat. You are a careful. Blushing chipmunk. So I imagine it's like a chipmunk that like sees a net and goes, because it's careful and blushing, right? But why is it blushing? Is it just like, is it maybe it's is it fancy? Fancy the acorn oh, a little bit? Really fancy is the acorn? <laughs> just make all the ugliest faces for chat. <laughs> Okay, and then um, this one is for Lagaran. So thanks for joining us again, even though it got tough for you. We love having you in chat. And I wanted to let you know, oh, this is so great. You are a confident, befriending musk fox. That's kind of, I just see the, like a really adorable ox being yeah. like, hey, you want to be friends? <laughs> I know we will be. <laughs> well, I know it's going to end poorly. I mean, psych, it's gonna go What? <laughs> Ugh. So, um, yeah, let's decompress a little more. And chat, I would love for you to de decompress your feelings as well. I don't want to leave you hanging. Um, let's talk about- What's it? Not so fast. We got, we got 15 minutes. You're trying to cut me off. Um, so what was your favorite moment? Not necessarily the nicest one, but like the one where you're most into it. How about you tell yours and I'll think about that for a second. Okay. Um, I think I was most into it somewhere around the middle where um, we were talking about being surprised on like the best date mm -hmm. ever. I really liked it. Hyper Rapid Power, power Go! This is the first time in a few years I have actually teared up on something. So going to keep watching this smiley face. Thank oh, you. that is excellent. And that was Barui, Barulri. <laughs> Joe, how do you pronounce that name? Valerie. We're going with the official Joe pronunciation, which is Valerie. So Valerie, thanks so much, and I want you to feel affirmed after that very intense game. So I wanted to let you know, you are an exuberant, calculating sphinx. What goes on three legs at night, two legs in the morning, however that one goes. Wait. It's four legs in the morning, four legs in the morning two legs, legs during the day, three, legs, three legs in the evening. Yes, that's true. Four legs in the morning, two legs during the day, three legs in the evening. I feel like everyone knows that one now, though. Yeah, I feel like everyone knows that one. It's <laughs> okay. So a little my, late for spoilers. My favorite um, moment was the daydream. Mm -hmm. What was yours? I think mine was. God, favorite moment is hard because mm -hmm. favorite moment was remembering the ribbon and feeling really smug about that. Uh -huh. um, but like where I was most into it 
um, oh, was just like in in the fighting and really mm-hmm. wanting to to have some sort of connection and also like knowing a because of psychic um, that we weren't going to be able to, but mm-hmm. also because like story wise we would not be able to make that connection at that moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and so so there was like definitely a channel of feeling. Mm-hmm. This is hard. <laughs> yeah. I was actually really worried that you were going to predict we were going to break up. Not necessarily break up, but stop being together because I was going to die. And I was really hoping that those words were not going to come out of your oh, mouth. Oh, that never occurred to me. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I don't know. I, I was about to say something that I think is definitely a lie. I was about to say, I think it's harder when you know they're out there being happy, which is That's terrible. totally not true because... <laughs> You, if you love someone, you oftentimes want them to be happy. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, you want them to be happy. Yeah. And dead is dead. Dead is very dead. Whew, I didn't even think about dead. Glad I didn't I think about so it. I'm because I went there. Maybe that says more about me than I <laughs> would like it to. But I was like, she's going to predict that I'm going to die. You just watch. So, ha, huh, that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to play it again, though. Yes. So, we didn't get to do this in the middle because we were very wrapped up in the game but i'm gonna read some hashtag game feels oh great so hopefully chat remembered the game feels because if they didn't i'm gonna look real silly um barai vowry barai so i'm gonna look up our game feels and see what's going on see what you guys thought of today which i thought it went pretty well i had a great time i did too also, and I know we said this earlier, but again, thank you so much for being here with us. And thank you to Sarah and Pom 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 Pom. <laughs> What's is it James? James Stewart, yes. For for creating this. That was tremendous. That was super fun. That was It was great. Now, here's the big question. Mm. Would you play this with a current partner? I don't have a current partner. Don't have to answer that one. I said, would you play this with a current partner? Would I? Nice try, though. <laughs> um, yeah, I totally would because I really like intense conversations. <laughs> um, would you? You know, before playing this time, I would have been really anxious about it. I've mm. been like, I don't know, what if we step on each other for real? But now that I've played it, I feel pretty sure that like it would be fine. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the unknown that scares me more than anything else, which is ironic because it's a game about psychics who know everything. <laughs> yep, yep, that's me. Okay, game feels. So it looks like we have a few today, and yes, Final Fantasy IX Master, it is true. I should know by now that you wouldn't leave me hanging, so my hat off to you. Uh, the first one today is from JP Beltran. Strix bins the continuum to rescue us from the darkest timeline. No big deal, just another day. Strix facts, game feels. Yeah! yeah. Um, then we have one from Void Smoker, who, which by the way, Void Smoker, I just wanted to say thank you so much. You consistently do amazing fan art for the games on the show and it makes me feel really good and um i don't think i thank you enough so I red power, power go, go. <laughs> <laughs> dark tunnel to one 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 <laughs> oh the moon rules you're killing me um, that I was like the perfect line for the yeah. words to just start skipping just start on. Looking. Like if it had to skip on anything. I agree. That at was least it. the perfect time to have a glitch. So, <laughs> the moon rules, you're awesome, and that was really funny. So I'm going to give you the best affirmation of the weekend. Are you ready? Because you are a mystical, admiring minotaur. A mystical, admiring minotaur. Which I've I've made minotaur sounds on the mm-hmm. show before. What so, are they? Well, I think it was more of like a bull, like <laughs> kind of thing. This like, one's a mystical one, so it so has it to be, be like, like bells as well. So you do that, and I'll do the bells. Okay. <laughs> I think that's perfect. A mystical minotaur. Because minotaurs are scary. Yeah. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> So Void Spocker wanted to know who was a moist, screaming pixie. Um, that was the creator, Sarah. <laughs> she got affirmed with those cards. So she is a moist, screaming. Though I don't think it was screaming. I think it was a better word than screaming. I think it was screaming. Are you sure? No, I'm not screaming sure. Really it was a long time ago. <laughs> 
I think it was more like sparkling. We're gonna say sparkling, a moist sparkling pixie. Um, but but <gasps> he did make excellent fan art, which I'm about to favorite and retweet. Sarah, you should take a look at this on Twitter right now because he <laughs> did an amazing rendition of a screaming pixie. So I am so proud of that. Um, Eridinsk, who is a regular viewer as well, said um, both you and I. You mentioned us, man. I don't know. The last time I cried this much, this is powerful. Game feels. That's the best. When people tell me that they've cried, not because I want to make them suffer, <laughs> but because his emotions are cool. And to inspire that in someone is really cool. Amazing. That's really cool. Good job. Good job to <laughs> Bazooka Joe got it in the hashtag today, and he says, Dark Tunnel to One. Dark Tunnel to One. Dark Tunnel to One. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> And then Final Fantasy IX Master says, three things I love this week. Infinite dark tunnels, infinite dark tunnels, <laughs> and infinite dark tunnels, and infinite dark tunnels. I'm sensing a theme here. I love that the best thing from this week is the glitch. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it was a perfect glitch. It was a perfect glitch. Um, Jay Beltran says, when an epic precog fight tears apart the fabric of space time. <laughs> it did. Game feels. Um, and then uh, Silly Sunny says, Hyper Rabbit Power Go! <laughs> Great job, both of you. And what an interesting game. Also, Dark Tunnel to Joe, Dark Tunnel to Joe, Dark Tunnel to Joe. Sorry, Joe. Hashtag Neonet, hashtag Game Feels, hashtag Hash Browns. Uh, so that was Genova Plus. Uh, thank you for the great donation. Um, I want to give you an affirmation for that. I love this joke about Dark Tunnel to One. It's not getting old yet. So, uh, Genova Plus, your affirmation for today is that you are, are you ready for this? An elegant, encouraging Moogle. <sighs> what is a Moogle? Did you ever play Final Fantasy? Nope. Okay. A Moogle is like this little creature He's like white and he has like things coming out of his head and he's adorable. That sounds super cute! It's kind of like a teddy bear with three bow ties, but better if I, if I do say so myself. And I'm, I'm gonna be really honest. A teddy bear with three bow ties is not like my aesthetic. No. But I'm glad that Sam and Dylan were able to bond so much over that. I don't know why bond is now a bird. It's a, yes, it's a bird. <laughs> I'm glad that they loved that. <laughs> Yes, it's that's the fun part of role playing is you don't mm -hmm. have to really be you. You you can be no. someone else, and you can embrace whatever. Mm -hmm. So silly Sony says, just too many game feels in general, all the emotions at once, and he's linked a GIF of someone being crushed by boxes of game feels. I will retweet that so you guys can see as well. It's a pretty great one. But that's great. I love that one. Ooh, so kinetic noetic. I think that's a haiku. Yes. So this is a Game Feels Haiku, which is our first haiku in the hashtag, so I'm excited. Thank you, Kinetic Noetic. <clears throat> so, sun radiates warmth. Moon is a pale reflection. Experience love. Oh, I'm going to save that one because that's amazing. Thank you for that, Kinetic Noetic. That is amazing. My first haiku on the yes. show. I'm hyped for that. Okay. And then <laughs> Jay Beltran says, Deep feels sharing today. So electric, you are both brave, fire hearted seraphim. Game feels. That's, oh, I want to be a brave, fire hearted seraphim. That's, oh. That's awesome. Oh, Thank you. Is this what affirmations feel like? This is why we do them on the show. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Isn't it great? This is why I come back every week, because it's amazing. Fire hearted seraphim. I'm keeping that one. Write it down. Okay, and then um, PBJB, which we know who you are in chat as well, says, um, Hyper Hyper G and the Thumpers, so everyone here, you're all glowing, bubbly, starfish. Starfish. Glowing, bubbly, starfish. Glowing, bubbly, starfish. So, I Joe is a glowing, bubbly, starfish. Zach is a glowing, bubbly, starfish. We're all glowing. You get a car, and I get a car. We all get a car. Yes. Because they bubble. They do bubble. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Poison Portrait says, do you need an affirmation? Yes, I do. <laughs> Take this one. You are an exotic, daring Nue. Nice. Mm -hmm. What's a Nue? Wait, I feel no, like it's a pun. Get it. Oh, oh, okay, I'll continue. 
Puns sometimes go over my head. It's fine, because I was I, like, what's new, but what's new, eh? I'm not really that witty. Like, like you're a Canadian. What? Oh, A. What's, what's new, 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 A? Okay, that <laughs> really, that really <laughs> took a second. Um, so Genova Plus, um, Casey got a joined affirmation with me. We're both fire-hearted. But she hasn't got one just by herself yet. Brave, fire-hearted seraphim. Yes, seraphim, which is a type of angel. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Geek of Oz wants to know what is the sound of a peccacorn. Um, I think we can we can do that for you. I feel okay. You you do the whinny and uh -huh. I'll do the flapping. Okay, because they fly. All right, ready? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> I love nothing more than being a dork on camera. I don't know why. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, we'll only read one more. <laughs> oh no, I didn't even see this team. <laughs> Eek of Oz, really? It's a picture of uh, uh, it's a, a piece of corn with yeah, a with a horn with wings and, on it. and wings, and it's the pega corn. <laughs> ah, see, that's a pun you got. Uh, well, it's a visual pun. <laughs> I'm good with visual puns. This is verbal puns. All right, thank you guys so much for your game feels this week. I really appreciate you sharing with them with me. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Um, we'll be back again next week. I'm not announcing next week's game yet. I usually do at the end of the show, but I'm waiting. You'll see why. You should trust me by now. Um, I trust her. You should trust me. So coming up next is Death from Above. Um, from what I am hearing in the studio, this is a very special episode. It's like Death from Above on steroids. So it's something we haven't really done before. I'm actually gonna stick around because I'm super excited to see what it's like. So I hope that you stick around too, because uh, this is a very special episode of Death From Above. Probably less feelings, but more explosions. <laughs> so if mechs are your thing, please join us. Coming up next at six is DFA. Otherwise, have a great night and I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Joe, hit that outro. Oh, I said a weekly affirmations, a positive feel-good show. The most positive thing on this channel called Hyper Rabbit Power Go. It's pretty decent. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care. Have fun.